little excited to eat. I just came out. Huh? <laughs> All right, so Danny and I are here at the co-op. At the co-op. I'm so excited. I have not been here in weeks. Getting a private tour. I'm excited. I feel so fancy. Go ahead. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ooh, the big reveal. Everyone's seen other times. <laughs> I haven't been here in, I don't think I've been here since Jimmy left. Well, everything you're telling me that seems new, I've seen before, so it's definitely been a while. Yeah, like that tank at the end is different. I haven't been here since this craziness was installed. Oh yeah, I've spent a lot of time. This is going to be a whole separate video to talk about. Perusing. So we'll just, I guess, start. Let's start with Murphy. Everyone loves Murphy. Do we get to feed Murphy? Yeah, do we get uh, clams? I think... There's no one else here, so we can do whatever we want. <laughs> we gotta find, we a, gotta find Murphy's food. a refrigerator. I think it's back here. Yeah, here's something. Nope. Nope. There used to be a refrigerator back here. Uh, here he is, yeah. He's ready. Say cheese. What a mug. This is like, if I was a fish, this would be me. Just sitting here in a corner by myself all day. <laughs> after, after, <laughs> With after a big meal. bloated stomach like that. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't just feed him. He, it's almost kind of like, what do they call that? Planking? Plank, yeah. Like he's planking, he's planking on his own stomach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we might have to, uh, what about this room? I don't think there's a fridge in there. Quarantine room. This guy might know. What? Jim A. Where's Murphy's food? Oh, you keep it out here now? The Jimmy spotting. Yesterday he refused to eat the full size one, so we gave him the half clam, but I don't know where the half clam is Maybe down there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there Heroes we go. Heroes in a half shell. You have eight those. I get it. He's a gentleman. He doesn't need a mouthful. Mm, I don't know about that. Mmm, Friday night dinner. Mm. I'm very disappointed in this tank right now. Very disappointed. Well, the plants aren't so pretty, but the angelfish are. <laughs> yeah, but this. when this was like, the last time I was here, this was all rocks, and there was like plants everywhere, and I know. fish everywhere. There was a lot of jungle vow going on. Now we on. just have a brown form of jungle vow. But this is actually the tank. So my platinum angels that are in the 125 at my house, this is the tank I got them out of. And it's because of all that jungle vow and how pretty it was. And right when you walk in, it's the first tank you'll see. Interesting. <laughs> and then Although, I Although, what had just happened to that fish. tank? Oh, man. I, uh, we walked in on a leak today. Yeah, I've got a leak scenario yeah. at home. Uh, the 125 might oh, yeah, be, okay. can I drop it? Yeah. Might be reaching its. Nice work. Here, let me get to the other side of you. Okay. That crunch. Okay. Those are so small compared to him. How he likes it. It's like, it's like a snack, an hors d'oeuvre. Bite size. Oops. Let's see if I get my mic up there. Can you get it? <laughs> get the snap. Probably should have turned off this air conditioner, but that's all right. There you go, buddy. See if he'll eat one out of your fingers. Um. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> this is plenty fascinating right here. <laughs> but yeah, Ooh. I um, I had okay, to have Bob come over and help me because I definitely have a leak in the bottom panel of the 125. So, so that just means new tanks coming. Yep, I, uh, I've got to move all the fish out of there, drain it down, and get to work on the fish shed. <laughs> we actually <laughs> left it leaking to come here. Yeah. <laughs> Priorities. I drained it down, you know. We took some pressure off. Seems to be doing all right. <laughs> you still? He wants more. All right. Even though there's still one in his mouth. He likes me. I feel like everyone that sees a dog or a horse, he likes me. It's really mm. just the person with the food. <laughs> right there, buddy. Right there. Good job. You gotta stand off to the side so the internet can see you. Oh. Hello, internet. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Uh, we'll save the 
a story about that yeah, no, no, webcam no, for another time. No. <laughs> I forget behind, it's that'll there be behind sometimes. the scenes story. That's not appropriate. <laughs> All right. Okay, two Let's more. Move on. Okay, two more. That's all you get. It's my kind of fish, though. Yeah. I'm like fascinated by the teeth. Like, just t it looks like two little teeth, and the damage that they do. It's impressive. You can see how rounded they are. Yeah. Well, I mean. The evidence Look at his is tongue. everywhere. He wants a kiss. It's your turn. <laughs> nope. It's a he. <laughs> All right, I'm putting these back. Got a wall of stuff, supplies, rocks, wood. <sighs> anyways, anyways, of course, still have the quarantine. I want these tanks for myself. So what? What? Is that, is that all one tank with dividers? Oh, you've never been back there, have I've you? I've never been back here. Well, who's going to stop us? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> this is so weird. There's no one. Jimmy's not going to stop us. He's the only one here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so they're all one tank divided on Costco racks. So these would fit perfectly in the racks in my garage. Perfect on your racks. I love that. I don't I'm, know the gallons of each, but they're all separate. So none of, the, none of them share water. Ooh, look at the Pleco. Gosh, these are so Some bright. Rims. Yeah, look at the color. They look great against all this black. That's why black backgrounds are way better than yep. blue. I agree. Way better. Corys, loaches. Some big ember tetras. Ooh, these Platties. are pretty. Are these the, um, what are these? Those are neon tetras. Just babies. Hey, little guys. These are cardinals. They're so these are neons. I've got a bunch of these guys. Yep. I love those guys. They're so active. Out of all my quarries, they, they get around. Some garamis. Ooh, there's some big plecos in here. Ember tetras. Right there, on the wall. Oh, yeah. Snails, this is for Holy the pea puffers. Snail tank. Yeah, pea puffers. Goldfish over there. I actually see some goldfish in the store that I want. Is this just an assorted guppy? Like yeah. a grab? Yeah. A grab bag? A couple tanks of autos. Gosh, I could use like a scoop of snails Ooh, myself. A pistos. I found a pistos. Got the uh, customer fish drop off. Oh. All kinds so of stuff. There's, um, look at the size of these coolie loaches. So these are, huge. these are where they put, if people just bring fish? Yep. I kind of want this guy. I don't know what he is, but I feel like he'd do well in my 240. I feel like, who's 240? My two, your 240 that's in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> look at the garami in the back. It's huge. Oh my gosh. He's got cool markings. Banded garami. There's the blue grommies are nice. Ooh, there's a turquoise rainbow in here. Flagfish. I know that one. I see oh, a there's turquoise. a couple of them in there. There's uh, Celebes rainbows in here. Rasboras, Danios. I could scoop out almost all these fish. I take all the loaches, because I love I loaches. I do love the loaches. Someone's gonna have to tell me what this guy is, because I don't know. I don't know what that is either, but look at that Molly. Type of loach, but. Or this gigantic one? No, right there. Oh, the the bigger one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the monster. I really like this dude. Yeah, he's cool. Hmm. Can you buy from this tank? Can you take from this tank? Well, I can do what I want because there's no one here. Remember? <laughs> this guy's angry. He's definitely not a. Maybe he's a loach, but I don't know. He's got a sucker mouth to him. Yeah, that's true. It's probably something obvious, like a giant auto, and I just don't know because I've never seen one. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, I've never seen a flagfish that yeah. big before. I, I seriously might snag this guy. He does have really cool colors. It's and hard. the fins are like long and not, well, that one's a little nipped on top there, but like that's some pretty good finish. Yeah, he's pretty. He's almost got like a purple and orange to him. 
Whoa, look at the size of that dude. I didn't even see that dude. These are, this is the, the stuff I like to see. Like, This is like if, if someone's like, what can I put in a... <laughs> what can I put in a 40 gallon? This is like... This well, is like, anything apparently. <laughs> this, this is the Petco shopper right here. I want one of those and three of those and two of those and one of those. I just lost all my Petco subscribers. Look at these angelfish. They're huge. Is that the pearl scale? Oh, look at the killifish. Oh. Those are neat. I didn't even see them down there. Um, Crebenzis over here. I actually like this guy. He's got cool fins to him when he turns to the side. What's the deal with these fish? Can I just take whatever I want? So these are the orphan fins. Either Robert decides to quarantine them and make them okay again, then uh, we sell them for a dollar. Or I'd pay a dollar for somebody. I mean, I, mean, I'd pay I would pay. I, I, I want <laughs> some of, a lot of these fish. I want the Celebes. There's even turquoise rainbows in there. There's yeah. a pea puffer in here. I was going to say, there's some of the blue Colombians. I want all the loaches. So I don't want those jerks. No, I don't want Buenos those guys. Aises. Holy smokes. Holy moly. <laughs> Call him Chunk. He's chunky. That's a tetra. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's a tetra. <laughs> he can barely keep himself up. <laughs> Looks like Murphy. This just goes to show you that the fish that you buy in the store is usually the juvenile, and yeah, this there's is some what Colombian it can in grow there. to be. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, at first I was going to bring some back to I the still, store. I still want to know what that is, though. I've Don't bring them, them back. They're super awesome. I know. I, that that was one of you. You were talking me into getting this more This is like the most exciting part of this. Like, <laughs> look at that fish. Look at this one. Oh, my gosh. I like it. Some jerk actually gave this fish away. I know, that's so sad. But I get it. I Whoa. Will, if it's Easy not the buddy. right fit, way to go bringing it back to a store that will take care of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying to find the bright side here. Research. And we've all impulse buy. I can't say I've never done it. Yeah, I blame I you still, for I a lot of it. my purchases. Hey. <laughs> hey, Easy. <laughs> feel so behind the scenes. I've always peeked through the glass. Like, what do I get to pick out from next week? <laughs> I'll never forget my first trip back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the memories. <laughs> so is there anything on this wall that you like? Oh my gosh, so much. Like I'm everything? Sorry. Everything. If you um, had to pick out five things real quick right now. Five things that I love or five things that I need? Both. Okay. I want things that you actually use um, like. Every single, so I think I'm up to about 50 tanks now. And when I say tanks, I'm meaning like tanks and then my nanos. And I and use, and tubs, and I use aquarium co op sponge filters. And then I do the no clog Zis air stones and pre filters for the nanos. That's how That's I do it. Very smart. Not a lot of people know that tip, but there you go. Yeah, a little tiny. That way it doesn't take up too much room in the yeah. nanos. But yeah, I absolutely love. I started shopping here right before they brought on their own sponge filter, so I only had to buy one of a different type before now every single one that I have. Um, easy green, especially now that we've got all those plants <laughs> and I'm out, mm -hmm. I need some more. I love the easy green. You know what I love? I love these little pistol right here. Yes. These little guys. I've got a couple of the coconut heads. Coconut ones are nice. I like to take these and I'll actually, so I've got like three or four, and I like to then do one upside down like that. Mm, I like there a little you go. colony together. I need some of these so bad. I saw your video throwing them on the ground. I was eyeing them. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking so many it's rules. Not, it's not broken though. <laughs> um, Katapa leaves. Working with bedas especially, I, uh, I use a lot of tannins in the water. All right, that's five. Okay. Do you use this thing, though? Yes. <laughs> it's not broken, though. Hey, that's my job to knock things <laughs> over. <laughs> I barely touched it. I have three of these going right now in I the garage. I love those things. Yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. So many things. Yeah. We could, we could get lost here forever. That's why I said five. For the new fish shed. Limit it to five. Yep. The yeah. Neato. I've got one of those. I'm excited to hook up. Yeah. All right. Let's run down these tanks real quick. So, Jimmy, before you got over here, Jimmy was showing me the rainbows in here. So these are the spotted blue eye rainbows. I just got the blue, the red, mm, red, neon. red neon blue eyes. These ones Luminatus are a little bit more is what they're called. Gold. Blue eyes in the back. The angels are pretty sweet. 
so many angels right now. I'm guessing this, these have got to be Dean angelfish? Uh, you know, I don't know. Randy breeds them too, so oh. who knows? Angelfish galore. Yeah, this, I mean, this is really the only tank you got to care about. This one right here. <laughs> Assorted rainbows. Mm -hmm. Assorted. <laughs> they look like all turquoise to me, but... They do look like... Oh, look at that guy in the back. They're he's uh, flashing. He's got the orange. Yep. He's ready for his female. Ooh, that is pretty. I love That's that when they so get popular. that stripe yeah. on the top of their heads like that. Assorted turquoise rainbow fish. <laughs> Just some giant I've, Danios. Oh, the Danios. Your I've, favorite. I've got about 20 of these and 55, and they just rule in Oh, there. my gosh. Look at these guys. I realize there's a, a red light on them, but that's insane. Not a big fan personally of the tea balloons cup ladies? Come or the on. teacups, but I they're love... Not, they're not balloon. They're not balloon. I don't like balloon fish either. Oh, I get, I get, them, I get them confused, but... Look at the giant I do love how red. I would love to do an all red fish tank. Yeah, those are huge. Are those the... Uh, Brocus. Brocus. I think. Yep. Yeah. Thank goodness for signs. Oh, man. I need Brasboras, Fancy Guppies. Some really nice Odyssey. Odyssey. Od Odessa barbs, I should say, not Odyssey. Yeah, those are pretty. Look at that yeah. guy. These would be cool for out, outdoors. Yeah, those, I mean, I love those rosy barbs that I've got. So I've got other barbs on my list just to. These barbs would be really nice outside too. The rose line shark. I do like those when they get big. I mean, look at the yellows, the reds. This is probably the most commented fish on my channel. What is that fish with the red stripe and the yellow tail? <laughs> Can never go wrong with cherry barbs. I tried these outside last year and did not do well. I would like to try the cherry barbs. Definitely need a heated tank for those. Okay, so... They can go with your teacup platies. Teacup platies. And ember tetras. I do have a bunch of ember tetras. Get some fire red agazizii for your red tank. Oh my gosh. Always. Malayan yellow pygmy cats. What? You want to know what else is amazing? I have these. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I keep these. I have, awesome. I've I have never three seen those, so I think types. it's awesome. <laughs> They're also called a shadow catfish. I think that's the most exciting thing about this hobby. This, this, I'm going to say right new. now, this price is insane. That's really cheap, especially for how rare they are. That's a super rare catfish, at least in the Northwest. Jimmy, bag them up. No, I'm just kidding. Jeez, <laughs> put a camera in front of her. <laughs> She's a queen now. Just kidding. This is this is what I want to do right here. I want like 500 lemon tetras. I love these fish. The yellow. Imagine 500 of them. Oh my gosh! What do those remind me of? Those rain. um, like your Von the Von Rio ones. But Same they, body they, structure. Yep, yeah. they've got a little bit of the orange on them. That would look pretty if you did a group of those with the lemons and then add it This in is what I'm going to do in my 300 in gallon. Ooh. Once you get your, your 240 out of my garage. Oh, man. What are these? Oh, flagfish. Just flagfish. I'm going to need that 240 now that i got to replace the 125. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm excited. <laughs> get your fish out. I, I secretly <laughs> ran in there and busted the scene this morning <laughs> just so you can get the 240 out of my garage. Man, there's a lot of apistos here. These are the panduro. There we go. I These want are those really cool Hongsloy. Ones. Hongsloy, and you want the Benchai. Yes. Some more rainbows. These are huge. Oh, yeah, Hillstream Loach, reticulated. Substrate. I know, I already said I want I every need single so bag much of this. Substrate. I want goldfish. I can't wait to show you guys the, uh, the what is it? What were those goldfish? Um, Panda? Pandas. Yeah, panda. pandas. Holy cow, these Celebes rainbows are huge. Like I've never guys. seen them that big. Is that the Nanakara? Yeah, Golden Dwarf Cichlid. They're supposedly easy to breed. I've only tried them once and I killed them all. Well. Because I'm terrible. This guy's pretty. Yeah, they're really cool fish. And when they're fired up, like I had one male that would fire up. And I don't know if he killed all the other ones or if I, if I killed them. And then I had one male. I started with six. I am starting to definitely kind Golly, of fall in love with the cichlids. these threadfin rainbows are huge, too. Where are you getting all these big rainbows, Jimmy? Yeah, these are the ones huge. In the back. 
Yeah, these guys are right under the light. Look at them. That looks really what good. What kind of guppies are those? Snake skin? Albino snake skins. There's not much snake skin to all. Yeah, I don't like anything with albino. Not really my forte. Yeah, more red. Those are the Serpe. log fins. Serpe. I want red and phantom tetras. I wonder if there's any of those. Yeah, here. I like the phantoms. What's this guy coming up the back? Hmm? Uh, oh, petrocola catfish? Oh, yeah. Just We've got a ton of those. Of course, as soon as I point at him, he goes behind the heater. I've got four different species of Cynodonis. Sort of platies, I like this one right here in the middle. This little guy right there. Swordtails, I'm not a big fan of swordtails. Well, don't, so don't these guys need so a little bit of brackishness the to their water? Ooh, I love, I need, Rainbow I want to get some of these, try these. What? The green neons. I thought I got, gave you some. Yeah. Okay, I need to try them again. Oh, yeesh. we'll cut that out. Ooh. I love, I need, Rainbow I want to get some of these, try these. What? The green neons. Yes, they are really cool. Pork chop rasboras. I do love these guys. More gobies. I like to do a group of these with the um, the other ones. So you get the, the flash of the orange with the flash of the purple. Emperor tetras, I don't see those every day. Ooh. Albino cribs, my favorite Bolivian rims. Do like my little Bolivian ram. This is always one of my favorite tanks. I love these guys. I would love to try these guys in a tank. Silver tip tetras. Yeah. yeah. If you put them in like tan and water, and like all their their tips just really stand out. Maybe with like a blue eye, rainbow fish. Or a big mabu puffer. All right. I don't know if I want to do 500 of these or 500 of the lemon tetras. I think you should do 500 of these and give me 10. And <laughs> 500 of the lemon tetras. <laughs> Both of them. What are these that, guys? That can't be everything. Um, salt and pepper quarries? Yeah, those are what's in your pond. I, have, I guess I haven't seen the, the blue, like the iridescence to them from the top view, but the ones we've got in the pond are huge. That I keep a fat Amano shrimp. I keep confusing it for the rainbows in there. All right, let's check around the counter. Yeah, food. This is one of fat. my favorite areas because it's got all of... Oh, snap. All the plants. I used to come in here just about every week. Oh, and I'm purling. Why don't you come in here anymore? I no longer work 10 minutes away. Oh. And it used to be my once a week thing where I would come on a lunch break and <laughs> browse around just For like we're hours. doing now and <laughs> always leave with too much stuff. Um, but I like to get it, I, I get paid weekly, so I would buy a couple plants a week some fish. I like how week. everything's labeled. <laughs> yes. Easy, and, intermediate, difficult. Yep. This was the first place I actually bought aquarium plants from when I started kind of getting into the using the live plants in the tanks. And that was very helpful for me. I started with all of the green labels. That's the way to do it. This is one of my favorites. I love. Cryptropica? I love crypts. And this Cryptropica one right up here in, here in the corner is my okay. favorite. Java fern. Good old fashioned Java fern. Java fern. I'm loving the little window loves. I don't like the window love at all. I like, <laughs> I like narrow leaf, but you can't get it. <laughs> no, you can't get narrow leaf anywhere. This stuff does really great. That's always a favorite. Mm-hmm. Pink Ooh. flamingo. That's a Look like it died back, but they're all growing back now, which is pretty yeah. normal. More java I fern. I wish there. that Jungle Bow loved my water, but it does not. Yeah. Got some I always nubious. usually kill it, too. I thought these were variegated, and they almost look like they are but it doesn't say so, so I'm curious. I get some more plants in here, kind of empty. <laughs> of course, this is after we already took what we were taking. Oh, we already the stole plants. plants yeah. And bulbs. Frozen foods, wonder bulbs. bulbs. Man, this, this plant right here is just going crazy. I like these guys. I mean, oh yeah, like, holy. From this a angle, lot of like that looks so cool. Here from this angle? Yeah. Like, and it lets <laughs> off bubbles every now and again? Bubbles. I'm, I'm easily entertained. Well, I mean, I could stare at this all day. Yeah. Big string of bubbles. It's almost hard for I mean, me to talk because I'm staring at the tanks. And look it's at that like, plant bubbling back there. It's going crazy. That's not a plant. Oh. <laughs> you know, just because you're taller than me. <laughs> Here we got some by shears, bikers, bickers. The shears. And leecher, right? And leecher. I think this guy's hmm. cool looking. 
It's yeah, that, that would be model. the $35 one. Of course. <laughs> that sounds about right. If it's expensive, I want it. Hey, you mentioned that you were looking for a particular fish a week or so ago, and they just so happened to have a group of them right here. Oh my gosh, the Norman's lamp I kill you, but are they actually in here? Oh, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah but I don't pay retail. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> Hmm. I saw that coming. Maybe I'll have to bag some of these up. This is, see, I would love this right here is a perfect example of why blue backgrounds suck. Yeah, you're missing it. Their eyes are blue, the background's blue. This looks terrible on camera. Yeah. If that was black, oh man, these would look so much better. When I first walked up, they were all right in front of the sponge filter, and so you could really see their eyes going. Oh, there's really shrimp in here too, red really shrimp. Yeah, they look pretty good. I, was, I, I always wonder, the like, the average Aquarius, do they come in here and be like, there's something wrong with your cherry shrimp, they're not all red. <laughs> 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 well, if, you, if we'll get to the green jades in a minute, you get to see Qualified. the variation. White cloud minnows, gold white I cloud minnows, white long clouds. fin white cloud minnows. Those are really pretty white clouds, the long fins. Yeah, you should get some. I should. I would like to try Dario's. Dario's? Yeah. Yeah, black, 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 Ooh, tigers. black tigers. They have a black head. I've kept these before. They're they have like a reddish body, kind of like the guy right there. Hard to tell, but I red like body them. and black head. I kept those about four or five years ago. One of my favorite all-time tetras, the HY 511 or the candy cane tetra. I don't think I've ever seen those these guys look in person. Amazing in sunlight. Wow. Amazing. And killifish. Yep, Golden killifish wonder. Too. Those would be good for outside, as long as they don't jump out. Yeah, that's the only problem. See, nothing wrong with these cherry shrimp. They're all red. <laughs> Scarlet Badis, more Dario's. I like this Looks like some Badis. rosy loaches. And these are the ones that I just got and put out in the tub. These are the uh, yep. red neon, the blue-eyed red neons. I'm excited. Mine are much smaller, but I'm excited to see how they turn out. I'm and then? Ooh, this is what I want. Panda, panda, panda. I love it. Panda pandas. goldfish. I feel like that's pretty cheap for panda goldfish, but I'm not a goldfish guy, so I don't know. I'm sure everyone's going to be like, oh, there's a little piece of his fin missing on the left <laughs> pectoral. That <laughs> guy's only it should be 30 cents. I just know that the ones. <laughs> I don't You know how goldfish people are. I don't know. I think they all look sweet, though. Clifford the big, the big red betta. I like that. Clifford, the big red beta. I like He's this big, little tank. And he is red. So I have a new job. Isn't this the one that's supposed to have the dividers in it? Yeah. That's right. It's a divider. I have a new job and I have a new desk and I would like to get a little tank kind of like this. But I like that. And your precious discus. I love these guys. Bob says I shouldn't, but I... I'm telling you, they're just going to die. That's what discus do. These two right here, you don't think? No, I do think. Well, I know you think that they would die, but don't you think that they would just... I'm not saying they're not cool, but you know, I don't know, discus. Yeah, I know. It's one of those that I would love to try. Like $900 but and then they just die if like... I don't have a tank that, that's that warm. There's a, there's a meme going around right now, and it's like the top part is a picture of a discus, and it's like, oh, the leaf turned brown, I better just die. Oh. And then like the bottom part of the meme is a goldfish, and he's like, yeah, muddy pond water, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we caught everything except oh, the bettas, but they're gonna get their own video. Yeah, I definitely want to peek at the bettas. I cannot bring home any fish. Well, Not when your tanks are leaking. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, I've got all those tanks, but yeah, I've got to figure out what to do with the 100 fish I've got in the 125. <laughs> My favorite thing, Jimmy, is the assorted turquoise rainbow fish. They're all just, <laughs> They're all just turquoise. Like, there's three males in there that I want so bad because they're... Yeah, he's fired up right now. Yeah, they're super fired. Look at that guy. I know. Yeah. That orange on his head he is so pretty. Then the oh. there's one back there on that hut doing it too. I haven't tried the turquoise yet. There, I like these diamond heads. Did you ever buy them? The diamond head and the antithesis? Uh-uh. So from we above, missed them. we put them on the bottom because from That's above... That's what the, that group oh, of them stars. was. Diamond heads. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, there's a group of them in the quarantine room. The oh, smaller oh, yeah, ones, yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah. Some more. yeah. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. If these like rainbows cool. would get out of the way so I could focus on them. Galaxies in there. Jerks. The green neons of the Tetras are my favorite. No. First, like I've never done the cardinals so or the neons, but I like those green neon ones. The color on them mm -hmm. is just so cool. You want to see the sumo note? Or the zigzaggy? Zigzaggy? The sumo note is back there too. There's a zigzag. Ooh, his tail. His tail. Oh, there's sumo. Oh, there's the other zigzag. I want a fire eel. A big, gigantic fire eel. I want a big, gigantic puffer fish before I try eels. Yeah, eels are eels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for reals this time. Us. For reals. For reals? Uh, yeah, video's over. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>